Hi NEETPG aspirants, I'm Dr. Benzin Benjamin from NEETPG and you have just 40 to 50 days left for your NEETPG exam and I just wanted to stress some of the things you should never do in this period of time. And today's video is about Grantis. What is uh, Grantis and how you can use it? See, most of you people are using Grantis and planning it more in this last 50 days. But one thing you should always have in your mind is that Grantis is not a learning tool, it's actually a review tool. So how to use Grantis properly? So imagine that you're doing a grand test today. You are having 19 subjects in that grand test and you calculate your percentage of score in each subject that you have done in that grand test. For example, let's say anatomy 10 questions were there, you got seven questions so that your percentage is 70. Your physiology was uh, like, you know, 10, you got six, your percentage is 60. Of that, you have uh, five questions and now you got three, your percentage is approximately 33%. So this percentage, you know. So on the 19 subject scale, identify the weakest five or six subjects in that particular GT and select three subjects out of them where you can put effort on this week. For example, you decide that I, I will put effort onto the, these three subjects, let's say physiology, anatomy and ophthalmology in this week and I'll study properly from my source and practice questions from the entire sections of the subject so that I have a crystal clear clarity and write a GT in the next seventh day or sixth day evening. So what happens? You will be having at least two or three questions extra from these subjects gained at the end of six days. So that is 12, 12, 12 three questions means four to three, 12 plus three negatives reduced. So it's around 15 marks different between two GTs. If you're having that difference happening between two GTs, you're on a healthy track or trajectory. But if that is not happening, if, if that change is not happening and you're deteriorating, you should be a little bit worried and you should identify which subject pulled you down. It's not like you give up saying that, sorry, I've, I've not got a GT increase and I'm going to give up. No, what you do is in that particular GT that you did next time, you might find that some other subject was very tough and it pulled you down. That that's seen by having a very low percentage. For example, pathology was 50% in your previous GT and now you've got 30% means this paper was having a tough pathology pattern or you started forgetting pathology. So instead of losing your heart, start putting effort into pathology in the next week, along with two other subjects. And this makes your preparation information, like, you know, logically, uh, you know, positive and it will not create that panic situation where you don't know what to do with your score. And one very important food that I want to add is like, imagine that you have put anatomy effort this week, you got uh, around, uh, you know, uh, no change in anatomy score the next week also. It is still the weakest subject. You should understand that it is a negative subject for you. Putting any amount of effort on that subject will not pull you through. So what I suggest is to leave that subject off and move on with the next subjects and don't cling on to it because it will compromise the quality and the yield you are going to get from the other subjects by, by siphoning off your time. So I'm reiterating my points in this last 40 to 50 days, a very important tool to keep on track and not panic is GT. Yes, I'm saying not panic because most of you guys are using GT score and getting scared and panicked because you don't know what the scores to be used for. It's not an APG score, it's a mock score. So you have to use that score properly to move on, correct? So do not panic, do GTs and have a specific pattern, 7th day GT, 8th day GT and see the difference between two GTs. Identify why your marks went down or went up. Take actions on that by practicing questions, not by reading notes. Don't go in this last minute and start reading your textbook or notebook all over just because subject went bad. You have to go and select subjects, uh, sorry, questions of that subject and do, do from one end to the other end so that you stay on track and keep on moving forward. So if you're planning around 60 day GTs, you can do at least six or seven GTs before your exam. So if you're having around 10 marks average difference, even a 60 to 80 marks climb from your baseline is possible even by starting today by doing GTs and identifying your weakest subjects and putting effort on that week on week improve your score so if you have any doubts on how to use gts uh, as uh, a tool and and you still not clear please feel free to put comments on this box and i'll be definitely replying it all of you all the best for your exams thank you